to me about uh, Bob Tree. Yeah, uh, well, in, in his heyday, he was uh, the best cricketer around here. Mm. Uh, he, uh, he was a very aggressive right-hand batsman. Mm -hmm. uh, Norm O'Neill type mm -hmm. would uh, drive through the co covers off the back foot mm. off a rising ball. Uh, Confident. And then uh, he was a left, ha left arm. Medium pace, fast bowler. Mm -hmm. fine. And he played for? Us, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. yeah. But I didn't really see him, like I got him at the end of his, end of his career, cricket. Mm. But he did come back and play B grade for a couple of years, so I actually batted with him a few times. Which is pretty uh, cool. Yeah, and, um, and I'd done the same with Gone. I made sure I had a couple of games with Gone. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember one game, well, Dad was captain, captain of B grade one year. Mm -hmm. I would have been, uh, hell, would that have been 14 maybe, 15, mm -hmm. 15 at least. Would have been any other, 15. Mm -hmm. We're playing that, over we talking about down in Kai Cutter there in the corner. Mm -hmm. And um, I've hit this ball, oh, you know, past the field. I said, three, Dad. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, F that, I'm walking one. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so he made one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Out of respect for his knees. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Um, but when you see, his, when you have a look at his um, life membership tip out there, you understand oh. he made. Tell me his record. Oh, he made seven th over seven thousand runs in um, in ten years of cricket. Yep. But they can't find ten years of school books in his prime. Really. So I reckon, yeah, so I reckon you'd, you'd double that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, he'd, every, every, he'd win the association bowling aggregate and, and batting average, like, he'd be... Yeah. He'd, um, yeah. Yep. He's a good bowler. Mm -hmm. He bowled left arm mm -hmm. and bat right, right arm. Mm -hmm. And he... You wouldn't say he's fast, but he's fast enough. In the left arm, but I didn't like. Who, who's that? Who's that speaking there? Get a good view from that. That's Stuart Cummings. Oh right, okay. You would have played a bit of cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hit me over the fence a couple of times. Did he? Because <laughs> <laughs> he was captain of Pygree. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he could play a little bit, although he denies it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He wasn't too bad. Hmm. He was hard hitter. Yeah. Um, not terribly orthodox, but he could hit him pretty hard. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I think he, I think he hit me for two sixes straight one day. Oh, fantastic! I, th I think so. <laughs> what was your bowling like? Oh, what, oh I, was, I was bowling just slow, mm. probably off spin, I suppose, or that stage. But what about Bob Tree? What did he bowl? Mm. Well, he was pretty, pretty quick left arm bowler. Very good bowler. Very good bowl. Then he, then he could slow down and bowl a bit of slow stuff, you know. Bit of, so. Any spit on it or a bit yeah, of swing? Yeah, he'd spin it a bit. Mm. Yep. Mm. Um, yeah, I reckon. Mm. And he could bat, of course, everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, he could bat all right. Mm. You were just glad he was on your side. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah. Because I, I played a fair bit of tennis intermin intermingled with the cricket, mm -hmm. so I didn't play with him constantly. Mm. But I played a, played a lot with him. Hmm. Um, opened the batting with him, you know, quite a bit. Hmm. And uh, oh hell, he could hit hard. <laughs> he, he could he could hit the ball hard. A yeah. mauler. Yeah. Is how Stuart Cummings put it. A mauler. Yeah. A mauler. A mauler. Mm -hmm. mm. Hit him all over the place, you know. Good eye, and he. Mm. This is a classic photograph. Yeah. See Tom. Yeah. Yep. In fact, they're all under the weather a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I can remember. I remember that was a classic that way because uh, we went down the pub in Woodner afterwards, mm. and uh, oh, I don't know, about two o'clock, everybody's getting proper drunk, you know. Because mm. I was a baker mm. at that stage, so Bert plays. He had an old whippet bus, so we're getting a bit hungry, so I. 
I said, well, go around the bakehouse and we'll get something to eat. So I went around the bakehouse and oh, we must have got some pies or pasties or something. Mm -hmm. And we come back down to the hotel and we come around the corner and he's waving to the people over the other side of the road. <laughs> he forgot to straighten her up. <laughs> so the, the old whippet, she comes around the corner, up over the curb and straight, straight into the back of this bus, <laughs> this, this little green ute. Anyhow, we and bounce this ute up over the curb into the, into the hedge. And we're standing there laughing away. And all of a sudden I looked and I said, shit, I said, that's my old man's bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, uh, we went into the fifth Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, but we only played for about three quarters of an hour mm -hmm. to finish the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we were at the pub very early. <laughs> And if it was the fifth Saturday, it must have been quite a saga. Yeah, yeah. Now, we used to play, play them right out. Mm. And we never ran into footy. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was a lot more weeks in a year then. Mm. So a five, five week grand final. Yep. You would have played Cayenne probably? It was. Mm. Yep. 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 And beating Cayenne was always cause for some celebration. Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what? It, tell me briefly about um, uh, playing cricket with Bob Bob Tree. I mean, uh, he he would have played in what fifty nine in that premiership. Uh, yeah, I reckon he would have. Uh, fifty nine. Bob yeah, Tree. Yeah, he is two hundred thirteen games. Two hundred thirteen. Yeah. And um, that's his son, Butch Tony. Oh, yeah, okay. So he played Woodner as well, of course. Yes. 67. 67. And he's over at Elliston these days. Did he actually play for Elliston? I know he coached them. Oh, look, I'm not too sure, but he certainly coached them. He certainly coached them in 2019 when they played against Woodner United here. Out comes Woodner Jay defend beautifully. You know, they've got a sniff here. Oh, Mitchell yeah. goes high. Oh, Roscoe Bascom oh, chips in. Play on, says part. the buzz. The players are starting to tire, aren't they? They are. Matty Will's got it. He's ripped his head off. So he, he's chipped he out. He's got, he's got the chemist, young Liam. The young chemist. So uh, the Roosters down to a minute. So wide. Who's this Truby? And Truby just got it again. Missed one from... Uh, a slightly easier angle from here. So it's 10, 6 to 8, 11. So you Because this is when Butch was uh, coach and they had that very exciting game at Woodland. Oh, he's missed back. again. It's coming back. It's a goal to the rooster. It's down to a point, isn't it? It's down to a point. With about, what, a minute and a half to and go? We don't know if that scoreboard's true either. We don't know. Was he coaching Elliston? Yeah. It'll all get back to that decision uh, where Kai here gets He played a lot of footy for Woodland too, of course. Yeah. And he could play. Pretty handy. Yeah. Not as good as Bob. No, he was, he was pretty, yeah, pretty handy. Certainly a rep footballer. Going to bring the four points That's back. Middle now, Jeez, she's tight now. It's anyway, it's right guy. down to it. Assuming we're assuming the scoreboard is correct. Runners are gone out. Everyone knows there's only runners a everywhere. Player. Minutes ago. Six six six. Are they checking the six 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 rule here? Ten, six six plays eight? six three nine Everyone's eleven. Alliston. Buckham throws it up, Borland in the right. Who's going to get it out of the middle? And Isaac Borland tries to get a little toe poke on it with Gonny Tree's three. gone in. Eh? Picked up Gellar. by the Dell. Comes Trubridge to Wanger. Hutchinson. Hutchinson puts it in. The two silky. Trubridge. Oh. Comes down to Matty Will. Wouldn't that be a? He's go. Oh, he's giving him the kick. Matty Williams has got the kick. Oh. With a minute to go, he's put Dom it out. In the he's got it to Denton. Dom Denton oh, kicks from uh, about 20 out. 20 of a out. Angle. This will be the seal. I tell you what, for Ellison Footy Club, if he puts this through with oh. the emotion that's gone on today with losing our two be best, yeah. it'd be great to take the points. Well, just put it, just needed to get it out of the middle there. And anyway, just let's just see how it goes because it's this. This is a huge kick. If he misses, we're up all tied up. He hasn't moved. That's a goal. The Roosters goal. are back. The Roosters are back. Didn't I say before about uh, the way this 666 rule went? That's, with, uh, I tell you what, for this footy club, that's huge that's because massive. we were bit done and gone then. We were oh, yeah. 11 points down and looked like we were no Look legs. out. There was guys we're falling no down, cramping. Man, cramping. No one on the bench. But those two silky blokes oh, who have been there all day, Hutchinson and Miller. The red armbands on there today, they'd be playing for too. Absolutely. 
Delahaye and Hutchinson out of the middle there I'll before. Yeah, those two have lifted um, big time. And they're back in there again. So we got Dell. What have we got? 30 seconds? Oh, only. Yeah. There's not much left now. Huge play here. Let's Huge go. Play. Got to come out of the middle. Dell's got him. Comes down. It's high. High tackle. Appleby. Must have had to find again. a target here. Got to find a target. Oh, oh in on the man on the mark. mark. That could be a match winner. Young Shippard. Oh, oh that's a free kick. Pole axed him. Jesus. Jeez, the old Cardinal oh, Singh kicking the man of the mark. That was that was a shocker. Young Dale Shippard. And he's, he's come up he's and he's up, played up, on. Play what on. an effort. Isaac Borling flowed. Cross half anyway, we're right down the last minute. I mean, we, they I need it. They need an overlap this side. Someone's Remy North, is it? Remy North. He's got it. Remy North, he's looking for someone. It's it's Gonny Tree goes right. in. Comes to Marcus Gove Marcus and he's come Gove. back. He's still got some run on his legs, hasn't he? How far are they called? Oh, the and Shep pulled him up. And he did run too far. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, blows time. There's not much left. We've got some clean possession here. We're just yeah. Woody United struggling. Oh, we're away then. Position. He only had to one bounce. Oh. <laughs> You've quite now a bit shorty. You're all oh, sore. You're excited. I was, I was excited while, before, and I'm. Uh, the tower was shaking. The heart's pumping now. Anyway, I can there's tell black you. everywhere out here. We've the got heart Remy. is pumping. Remy's got yeah, it. It must be down position. to the last minute. It's oh. into the man of the market. Another one. Yep. And he's spotted him. His ball. Oh, yeah. he's gone. Oh, high tackle. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> well, even 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 the parochial. Oh, and it's a fifty. What? It's a fifty. Who said that? Oh, he's pointed to the runner. It's the runner, and he's told him the to get off. has told him to get off, and he's given away 50. This could change the whole game. And yellow card. Oh, there's going to be a shot after the siren. A shot after the siren. With a yellow card. A shot after the siren to win the game. Oh, that's unbelievable. Jordan. After the game. Reese Borlin lines up. If he kicks the goal, wouldn't United win? And he oh, must, he has to kick the goal. Disappointing that such a great game had to end this way. That's really harsh. It's harsh. There must have been something said. Shep reacted straight away. <clears throat> this is a tense game. It is. Absolutely. He's set it out. Yes! And it's all over. This is a brought over the bacon, Shorty. What a day. What a game. Well done. Well done. Well done. What a game. Say. What a game. Great game. From the start with the black and red lining up, man. You Absolutely. know, the big. Wasn't that a really silence. emotional tribute to. Two, two good clubs, you know, a lot of respect for each other. Absolutely. We lost two of our stalwarts. And that, uh, that before the game was just a really emotional. Uh, 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 way to start the day and show a fantastic, magnificent yeah. amount of respect for those yeah. two people. <laughs> and, and the boys was, really dug it in for him that last five minutes. Well, it would have I been thought, a shame to Ellison see that game finish, you know, like that. With a con you know. controversial decision. Yeah. Um, but I... Um, oh, mate, you could... Butch the, goes up and shakes the hand there. Tommy Seal. Yeah. The, uh, that last five minutes, I honestly thought Ellison were gone, but somehow yeah. they dug. They dug deep. That run across yeah. the other side that really showed. I think it emotion. was Hutchison, Miller, Miller and in, Stevie Paul. Unbelievable! They yeah. were very, very good. Don't Wouldn't United? Well. You couldn't go past Lance Appleby. What oh. a game he had! Yeah, he, um, he was just fantastic. Jericho held up. Jericho all day, cross yeah. half back. Sam Hindes when he ran into yeah. the ruck. Yeah. Cody Borland, yeah. also oh, extremely yeah. emotional day for him too, and he big, stood up pretty well yeah. uh, for Wooden United. Yeah. Yeah. Bob, he could play footy? Yep, yep, yep. yep. That was pretty good. A pretty, pretty good sportsman all around. He yeah. was. Yep. What position he you playing footy? Oh, I think he played uh, a bit of centre half forward and. Uh, I think centre half forward, mainly. Mm. You got a tradition of undersized centre half forwards. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh. <laughs> you just not not enough tall timber around. <laughs> all all the heights over at Kind Cutter, something in the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, sorry. Go on. The um, sorry, and and just quickly, uh, any particular games that um, you remember? 
uh, Bob had beginnings in, or the club had a... Oh, the, I, I can remember him on the uh, Junction Oval, the one on the right down there, uh, making two or three hundred uh, in, in one knock there. Mm -hmm. T about 280, I think it was, wow. yeah, nearly 300. But, you know, small oval, and he was hitting a lot of sixes. Mm. Do you know Johnny North? No of. No of. Well, he was bowling mm -hmm. for Koyang, and, uh, and he was strong and tough. Mm. And P.P. Cook, you've heard of him. Mm. Must have been a final, because he was umpiring. Yep. And uh, we had a new doctor here, Phil Schwartz, who played cricket for us, and he was scoring. And eight ball overs in those days. Oh, yeah, and, uh, that's right. And after about 10 or 12 <laughs> balls had been bowled, they yelled out to Cookie, who was umpiring to, hey, Cookie, he's already had eight, ten, whatever it was. And Cookie shake his head, no, no, no. And uh, so I uh, didn't worry John, he was strong and tough and he just came in 100 mile an hour and bowling fast. And, and uh, after about 14 overs, uh, they got on to Cookie again. Cookie, go on, he's at 14 now. And, uh, and Cookie said, he held up play and he said, well, he said, this is what I do. I've got uh, eight pieces of chalk in this pocket and after every ball bowl, I take one piece out and put it in this pocket. Mm -hmm. Oops, they broke. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's how he had to be over. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh. 